Welcome back to Man, Woman, Love, Revolution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. So, Father Moon shared his messianic calling from Jesus with his wife, which is pretty radical. But after all, Jesus was a radical. And Father Moon called women to lead the revolution of love that would bring a world of peace in God, which is even more radical. Father Moon's followers were not surprised at this. Divine principle, after all, prophesied, God's providence will lead to the women's era. And I quote, the age following the second advent of Jesus is the age of the wife. And Father and Mother Moon fulfilled this prophecy. And they challenged both men and women. There's a general consciousness in society that the man-woman relationship needs to change. But Father and Mother Moon saw it differently than most. The world tends to think externally, but God always starts from the inside. To understand this, we need to get deep into the providence and principle, with special attention to what this particular wife, Mother Moon, is about. One thing she's about is the Holy Spirit. Father Moon called her the embodiment of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Now, if Mother Moon embodies the Holy Spirit, what should we expect? Let's read what Jesus said about the Holy Spirit with the original Hebrew and Aramaic pronoun, she, instead of the English, he. Here's what Jesus said in John 16. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when she, the spirit of truth, comes, she will guide you into all the truth. She will not speak on her own. She will speak only what she hears, and she will tell you what is yet to come. She will glorify me because it is from me that she will receive what she will make known to you. So Jesus said that the Holy Spirit will guide us, make his teachings plain, reveal all the truth, and it will be from him. It's because Jesus was one with the Holy Spirit. He had total confidence in the Holy Spirit. Now, True Father told us that Hak Jahan Moon, True Mother, embodies the Holy Spirit. I believe this is why True Mother is expanding our access to Father Moon's words, the eight textbooks, and that this is why True Mother is telling us what is yet to come. Now, what would that be? I'll get into that next.